Hey there, welcome everyone, guys and girls. So, I'm Shambo, and this is Ice Group, and I'm back with another video of the Dancing Line in Unity tutorial series. So, in this video, I will teach you how to create a simple tap to start and tap to restart system. Okay, so now, and in this video, we are soon going to start a giveaway. Most probably, you will find the links to the giveaway down in the description or another video well in the giveaway we will be giving away three paid assets for free let's see what are the assets that we're gonna give first we're gonna give away time of day asset you can see it's a $60 asset it will create high graphic sky using a time of the day dome okay you just need to input the time and it will create a good graphic sky Next, what we're going to give is realistic water. You can create river, lakes, pools, ocean, sea, whatever you want to, anything you want for for any of your game. And at last, we'll give you a Titan Town for creating a medieval town. Medieval town. Okay, so now it's 50% already said, but still, we're going to give you a Titan Town. Okay, so let's begin the tutorial. So I've opened up the dancing line scene and I've got this two different cubes or cuboids over here that are tagged as obstacle so that when the cube or the line hits them the game stops let's check it once Wait. Okay, so let's continue. Let's check this game once. Let's rock and find. Oh shit, I missed it. So whatever. Whenever you hit that thing, you're gonna die. Okay, so now we need a tap to start system. So let's first of all in the game scene, let's create a text over here. Okay, so where is UI? Let's create a simple text. Let's scale up a bit. Let's version this a bit over here. So first of all, let's change canvas to canvas scalar scale with green screen size so now the text let's scale it up a bit over here it's in the Y to center let's see if it's 24 still not good and 7 or whatever be it let's write tab 2 with center aligned restart Okay, so the restart is not being shown. Scale it up a bit in X. Okay, okay. Then Y. Ha! Okay, so the restart is coming. Let's tap equal to restart still equal to restart okay so now it's coming up we will just in make this text tab equal to restart inactive because i don't want it to show up when we are actually playing the game Let's create another text. By text. I will prefer you to use Text Mesh Pro, but I'm not using it over here. I will prefer you to use Text Mesh Pro. I'm simply copying the values so that I get the same it's a scale. That's 2.41. Two point four one and it's twenty seven so 
27 let's write tap equal to center light equal to start okay this is going to be over here so now we will actually modify a cube movement script i have already opened up it over here in visual studio let's start modifying so click over here and we will new, need two new game objects so let's start writing public game object start text okay another public game object restart text okay we need a boolean value that's going to say whether the game has started or not okay let's do this public bool okay. started equal to false okay so got it false we also need to change the loop count over here to zero or any even number any even number will work fine we will need to add over here another if statement so let's start if input dot get mouse button down zero that's left click we're going to do something that's so bool value was started so let's say started equal to true and we will change this condition if is arrive equal to equal to true a bit more let's hit and we need started equal to equal to true only when the started okay so only when the start started value will be true the thing means the line will start moving so now I also need so I am by default showing this tab to start on the screen I also want it to be removed when the cube starts moving so let's also do this once I get mouse button down before I actually start things let's create another line that's start text dot game object dot set active false this will make sure that the step equal to start text is not shown now I need an else part so okay where's the else now okay so in this case we are making is alive equal to equal to false and we are throwing away some random cubes in random positions we will change that okay so that's here and we want to show the restart tap equal to restart text over here so let's create a new line that restart text dot game object okay, dot set active true now we will need to create a big button so we need another game object that is public game object restart button we will also make this that restart button active so okay restart button dot game object dot set active true now what the button is going to function we will write it right over here but wait before that when the th mm, our restart method will be to reload the scene but when we reload the scene all these values will be changed so we always want this value every time the load scene loads to be this by default so here's what we are going to do simply copy all the 
things and paste it over here in start but now this is going to change we need to clear all these things okay so we don't need this game object portions okay so we don't need this thing what was that okay so no all those things that are having values that means the int things so int bool float we don't declare it in the start we just simply make sure the value remains same in the start everything's fine everything's fine right now so every time i reload the scene these are these are going to be the default value so let's create a new function that's going to be public void let's name the function as restart restart it's going to take nothing as parameter and it's going to return nothing so it's void so what's it going to do simply load a scene so we need scene management over here so we will write using unity engine dot scene management okay so let's start over here. scene manager dot load scene let's give a parameter as load scene zero okay so what happened oh man so everything's fine now I've seen load scene zero okay so this is our very own main scene this is going to do zero okay right now so let's save this script let's head back to unity so hey there I uh, just created the giveaway link it will be down there in the description you simply need to subscribe to the channel to participate in the giveaway okay now so let's continue so i've saved the script i guess let's say again let's i saved the script i will need to clear a button right now so let's okay so where does my start okay that's fine let's create a new button 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 okay i want it to be a full screen button scale so let's scale it up let's scale scale okay let's not render the image neither we're going to render a text so we have got invisible button right now but we don't want any transition over here so it's interactable there's nothing going on good now we need to add this so let's add a function we need an object so our cube movement is added to this cube so why there are two cubes oh okay three cubes oh whatever wait so this cube is having the cube movement script and here are all the things that we needed okay started is false we need to keep it false so right before edit it we need to go to the button let's add this cube we will have cube movement and where is the function here is the function restart we will also need to keep this into the build index okay let's add the open scene let's this is in zero good tap to so now let's it deactivate so let's restart button let's make this thing deactivated okay good now let's go to the cube let's open it up let's fill up this places so where's the start text start text game object 
restart text restart button we're pretty much good to go i guess so let's save the scene let's okay begin testing okay tap to start is not being shown but let's see whether tapping it starts it on. okay it's starting the speed is too much i have to change the speed why there are three cubes why suddenly the speed went this fast Ooh. wait a sec okay so guys i just came to know what's the problem we need this speed it was 0 0.2 let's be it 0 0.2 but this is the problem outside this is changing to 0 0.2 but not what's inside start so we also need to change this to 0 0.2 let's save the script let's try again i don't know if the tap equal to start is not coming but i guess the speed will okay so now i've got a compiler literally what's the problem now so hey guys i just found the thing i don't know if i am maximizing this thing on play the text is not coming up but other times it's coming and the uh, speed problem that compiler you simply need to add a uh, word count f after this to make this already float thing again float i don't know why and f over here too that's going to fix everything so i've saved it everything's ready over here let's change the speed to 0.2 only 0.3 would be even faster okay Okay, so let's play this and let's check it. What the? Okay. So let's see. I have not tweaked the audio yet, so audio will play. It sounds like tap equal to start. It says tap. Let's start it. Good. Let's just get a collision. Okay. Now it says tap equal to restart. Now there is a button over here that we can't see because we are not rendering its image but if we click on it, the scene reloads and once again I tap to start oh yeah so right so now you have a tap to start and a restart system go ahead make your own dancing line hallelujah and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to this channel and yes share this video and once again let's um, I have started this giveaway okay so I will give the link down in the description and don't forget to play lost by isolation media the the link to this game will also down there in the description lost is a third person game made by us this is this will be an episodic adventure you can always just watch the trailer over here and yes this is only the first episode the first episode is free the subsequent episodes will be paid and paid but still you can always help us well thanks for watching